I guess the path that led to, you know, getting a job in this industry, I guess I always knew I wanted to do something artistic. Like, at first, I'm like, I want to be a writer, and then it's like, I want to be a drawer, and it kind of, I love video games, and like, uh, CG movies and stuff, so I started really veering towards that, and yeah, I actually went to school for it. I went to um, Texas A&M uh, and did the visualization studies program there, and so I guess I always knew I wanted to get towards this and just kind of kept working at building up a portfolio. I'm originally from Japan, and also I wanted to be a fine artist, so uh, digital is very much new to me, so just um, after I kind of realized the world going close to everything is in computer, so just I kind of switched my path to more digital world, so that's how I end up here, I guess. <laughs> I guess challenge is always the beginning, right? Because um, Every company always looking for someone who has a experience, but you know, someone who just graduated from school doesn't have that experience, right? So that's always a challenge. So like, that's the biggest hurdle to me. So at Ready at Dawn, definitely it's, it's good to have a very strong portfolio just to, I mean, you have to get notice one way and that definitely having very strong artwork is excellent so then you can get a chance to do an art test and then that's where you can really show off your skills is hopefully in that art test and not only being able to initially show your work um, then if they give you feedback to be able to then transfer that feedback into it because not only do you need to create good art you need to be able to listen to critiques to then refine your art and I think that's really important here of course, yeah, strong portfolio, but in a portfolio, you have to eliminate any kind of um, unfinished work. You, we, don't, we don't need to see that. So like, even you have, say, 10 things you have, and then five is great, we wanted to just only five. So then we more judge, you have good eye. You know, like you eliminate other five, maybe like, a, Five is my maybe small number, but the five great one, we wanted to see, you know, five great one, five mediocre one, and then we kind of judge this person doesn't have a good eye to eliminate these five. So we try to get someone who has that judgment. You have to have artistic ability to like how you see the world like what you think what's beautiful to you that's um, you have to have it there's a sense of like being an artist yeah definitely I mean being able to look at the world through a more artistic yeah. eye like noticing the way you know the smudges on a surface especially for us oh, as yeah, texture artists right, yes. like just the way light interacts with things like just different aspects like that and then being able to transfer it to your own work and not only just the artistic side, I mean, even being able to stay on top of like you know, new programs and stuff coming out to be able to transfer the things you see into more efficient ways to get it into the 3D world. And one way to really like, I don't know, home techniques and stuff is to literally take a physical object that you can see and interact in the real world and then try to create it in 3D space, like really try to mimic all the, the surface material is the biggest thing. Again, the way light interacts, the way the, the colors are, um, just all the different properties. Yeah, observation. Yeah. Observation, yes. <laughs> I don't really do any kind of like um, social media type of things, but to just able to get the feedback from someone I didn't know or like someone actually I knew you know like great artist or you know just a fellow um, someone who has same similar type of job and then get some sort of feedback from them that's great to hear you know any kind of feedback is great yeah um, definitely community and feedback is very important because everyone does look at the world a little differently and it's good to be able to see other people's perspectives because 
you might have like once someone points something out to you you might be like oh man yeah if I just change this this will be so much better but you just never would have noticed it on your own so you need that feedback and bouncing of ideas to really be able to push things. <laughs>